morning everyone and a big happy new year from us here at Camp Let's. My voice is starting to come back a little bit. You can probably hear Wayne in the background. I've got to make this really quick because we've got to go down for breakfast. It's our last full day here at Camp Let's with the League for People with Disabilities. So we're going to take the guys down for breakfast. Little recap, last night we had a lovely time. We stayed in the cabin till 11 o'clock and then we stayed with the other staff who were off shift till half past 12. We had some cheese and biscuits and salami and I think it's called um, prescrutio. And we had some cakes and some non-alcoholic wine. And it was just so nice to bring in the new year together with all the people that we love. These people are not friends, they are our family. They are just as important as you and our actual families. But on that note, we will tell you more about what we got up to probably tomorrow when we're in New York City. We'll give you a recap of how everything went. But on that note, we will see you now at breakfast and happy new year, everybody. 2023. Something in the air, always something in the air. It's so beautiful out here today. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh
You've been to the spa. All on your face. Hey, yo. The spa. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> wow, look at that. Hi. Pretty butterfly. I love it. Yeah. First up, our sharks attack cocktail. All right, so it's a yummy mix of tropical flavors. Topped off with your very own fighting sharks. All right. And then for our entree, we have Fish Delight, which is a nice, crunchy, cheddary, salty fish creation. Okay? So, would everyone like both items, the Shark Attack and the Fish Delight? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, do you I'll want both? Here, make these first. Evening everyone, so it's very late. It's currently midnight on the 1st of January. Um, currently the 2nd of January for anyone in the UK. So happy birthday mum. I'll give you a call tomorrow. It's our last morning when we wake up tomorrow morning. We've had a lovely day again today as you've seen from the clips. We've just spent the evening laughing so much with the usual suspects <laughs> um, and my throat is hurting to the point where I've just been coughing so much. We've laughed so, so much. Wayne is there, he's just brushing his teeth. Um, we're trying to be quiet because the campers are in bed and we didn't want to finish the vlog up there because it's so cold. Um, so on that note, we will be getting up normal tomorrow and sending the campers home to their parents and guardians after breakfast then i presume we're going to do a tidy up and get ready ourselves and pack our bags and we won't be leaving camp till around two then we'll be dropped off at a place called baltimore white marsh which is a um like shopping center area that you'll have seen um in the camp green top summer vlogs by now so we're going to be getting a mega bus to new york at 5 40 pm tomorrow night with one of our friends Tasha and um, we're going to enjoy a couple of days in New York with lots of exciting content but on that note I just wanted to say thank you for watching this mini vlog series so far and we will see you tomorrow for the second day of 2023 so good night everybody Hi. morning everyone so oh my gosh what's going on with my hair I've just washed it it's a bit all over the place it's currently the last day of camp which is very sad it is the 2nd of January, my mum's birthday, so I'm going to give her a message in a minute and a call later on when I'm not busy. But we're just about to pack all the campus things up, have breakfast, send the mum away, so we will show you what there is for breakfast. So, just like that, the campers have left. Very sad, very emotional it was. Oh, that's I got, we got really attached to the twins and it was broke, broke our hearts when they left. When they gave us a big hug at the end and were so happy, it, it just broke our hearts. But it's yeah. Not, their mum was happy. Yeah. Happy. But uh, yeah, so all the campers have left now, I believe. We've been told to come down to our cabin and just pack up, take all our bedding, pack all our suitcases. And then we're going to meet back up in the dining hall. There'd probably be like a speech from Mel just to say thank you for your hard work. And then we'll be making our way to certain areas. Jess and I and Tash will be making our way to Baltimore White Marsh Mall because that's where the uh, mega bus stop is to New York. Uh, once we get to the mall, we'll probably go and get some food in the food court and then just chill and then make our way to the bus stop. Now, because we are with someone else, 
we're probably not going to do an in-depth vlog as like we would if it was just us two because obviously there's other people with us so obviously we'll vlog making our way to white marsh we might vlog what we've got for our food we'll show the receipts because i know that's what people like to see and then we'll vlog getting on the mega bus and maybe a little short clips of the actual trip itself and then when we get off the mega bus but it won't be too much like normal and then obviously when we get to our room check in with we'll our room tour which will be in a separate vlog and then i think we're meeting tash after for some food so again we'll show you what we get we'll show you what we do but it won't be like a very in-depth one and then obviously on the third when we wake up after a much needed lay-in i think we are meeting tash in the afternoon because she wants to do some stuff not on her own we're not, not in her on the no, third. She's doing her own, so it might be in the night. Time. That's what I said in the evening. Oh, yeah. yeah, in the evening. So we might meet up over in the evening. I think we might go for some food and so on. Uh, so that's the plan. Uh, it's currently now half 11. So I think we're planning to leave camp about one, but obviously the quicker we get done, the quicker we can leave. But yeah, so camp was over. We didn't get time, I'm afraid, to do a camp tour. But there is a map in the kitchen that we recorded and we've taken a picture of. And all the clips and snippets that we've done throughout the week, we might be able to put together and show you like a, a montage. montage of camp. But it won't be like a detailed camp tour because we just didn't have the time. If maybe, if maybe it was like a two session thing and there was a three day break, then we could have done it. But with winter camp, it's literally over before you know it. We land and the next day the camp has arrived. So we just didn't have the time. But we've done a camp, uh, we've done a cabin tour, which we're grateful for. Uh, we're grateful we had enough time to do that. But yeah, I'm going to go now because we're needed up in the dining hall in a minute. But yeah, you probably will next see us getting onto the bus, making our way to... Uh, uh, White Marsh, Bus Stop and Mall. But yeah, we'll see you soon. Just while uh, Jess is packing her suitcases, because I'm no good at it, um, I thought I'd show you the actual cabins itself uh, on the outside, because when we arrived here on the 27th, it was quite dark. So this is our cabin here. That was our cabin just behind us there, that one there. And it was called Ensign 1. The one next to us is Ensign 2. And then there's one more at the bottom. I'm not sure what that is. Ensign 3, maybe. Just that one there. And there's about seven cabins. Now, they're all fairly sim uh, similar, but there's slight differences. So, so the R1 doesn't have a fireplace. Ours has got central heating. Where some of the other cabins um, have got chimneys and got like... A fireplace but they're all pretty much the same layout but yeah as you can see it's so beautiful around here so that's our cabin there so that's the middle room then you've got where me and Jess were staying in this bit here in the campers and then if I walk you on a bit further to that side of the room there that's where Lena was staying with the campers as well but yeah it's very beautiful around here and we'd be sad to leave but yeah i just thought i'd show you that because when we arrived on the 27th it was pitch pitch black and you couldn't really see anything so now it's obviously daytime it'll give you a rough idea but like i said we do apologize that we can't do a full like camp tour um even though the camp is quite small that we use i mean it's massive the camp itself but we only use a small part of it um we just haven't had the time and obviously we need to get packed up now and get ready to leave so we are sorry if we do come back next year which we are on talks about maybe coming back next year then we'll try and fit it in but unfortunately we can't do it this trip but yeah so beautiful right i'm going to go back and help jess now in the cabin get packed up because we need to get to the dining hall so i'll see you soon and just like that it's time to leave camp let's bye cabin Say bye, Cabin. Bye, Cabin. You said as well. Let's go. Do you miss me at all?